welcome back epic fishermen as trout season is fast approaching I wanted to show you guys some effective basic trout bait and tackle that I'm going to use for this upcoming 2021 trout season now this basic uh, bait and tackle that I use um, usually does very very well for me in trout season I've been trout fishing for the last 28 years and uh, this basic setup most of the stuff that you can get at Dunham's, Dick's Sporting Goods, Walmart um, and also Bass Pro Shops I mean it's just basic tackle and stuff that you can get around your uh, everyday stores that you go to I noticed this year though with the pandemic that's been going on over the last year it is uh, truly playing hectic on not only getting bullets but uh, getting trout supplies uh, went to Walmart to go get regular uh, size 8 and size 10 bait holder hooks they didn't have any I uh, went to a couple of different other places and uh, they didn't have any either um, I went to get uh, little gremlin uh, split shots and good luck finding them because nobody has them so uh, basically the pandemic is being a, a true real pain in the ass and uh, I'm truly sick of it and uh, I'm sure everybody else is also you guys stick around I'll go over this basic bait and tackle that I'm successful with and hopefully it makes you guys more successful out on the water first thing I want to go over here today is hooks and split shots is what we're going to start off with first um, basically for trout fishing I use a lot of smaller bait holder hooks um, these bait holder hooks here as you guys can see are a size 10 and then I also use bait holder size 8 which are a little bigger than the 10s I'll use these hooks here for more of uh, uh, using gulp minnows or maybe using night crawlers and a little bit bigger of a bait uh, the 10s I always go smaller with these because I use these with wax worm, salmon eggs, corn, and uh, a lot of my power bait that I use, I use on a size 10. As far as split shots goes guys, very simple. Removable little gremlin BB and B split shots are the size. Now depending on uh, how deep the water is, how fast the water is going. Um, you can use multiple of these on your line to get down into the strike zone. Now with these split shots here, I have tried different kinds of split shots over the last couple years that are not made out of lead because the lead sinkers are getting really, really hard to find. But I noticed with uh, the Eagle Claw split shots, they're absolutely horrible they'll either fall off your line or you cannot get them off your line and have to snap your hook to slide them off because once you put them on you just can't get them off so I, I really don't like any other BB or B split shots than the little gremlin also with the hooks size 16 treble hooks made by Eagle Claw these are a very effective hook when you're using power bait you just got to watch that uh, when you're using this with power bait, it tends that a lot of the trout with power bait seem to swallow the hook. So basically when you're using these, as soon as you feel that initial bite, uh, you better set the hook because I notice uh, the trout really like to swallow these with power bait. Now we'll go into our little bit of a uh, tackle selection here, the tackle boxes that I like to keep my hooks and split shots in. These little Plano tackle boxes that you can find at uh, Dunham Sports and uh, Dick Sporting Goods, sometimes Walmart. These little tackle boxes are awesome to fit in your vest and you can keep all your uh, hooks and split shots in there nice and organized for when you need them. Now, 
when you're buying these at the stores, I noticed this year that they were having some problems with them. Um, when you buy these, make sure that they actually click before you buy them because some of them weren't uh, latching correctly, which uh, you go to put these in your fishing vest and all your hooks and split shots fall all through your fishing vest. So make sure if you guys are buying these little Plano green tackle boxes that you're double checking them. That way they click. Your Blue Fox spinners. Blue Fox always makes a good spinner. This is the Gold Series. Notice how it's not real big. I don't like to go big with my spinners. But these Blue Foxes have some added weight to them. And uh, it's nice for heavier current. And uh, they keep you down in the strike zone when you're bringing them through the current. That way the fish can grab them easier. That's the Gold Fox Gold Series. And they also make a silver one, which I don't have, but here is a chartreuse one, also made by Blue Fox. Imitates a mini. I have a mini head on there that rotates and also has your little feather trailer with a chartreuse spoon. As far as little pin minnows go, these little pin minnows are very effective for brown trout. Um, if you're in a pinch, uh, don't have live minnows, I throw one of these on here and these are very effective for brown trout. Rainbows will eat them also, but I catch a lot more browns off these. They have different styles. Here's a chartreuse with the red. You have a rainbow pattern. And also they have... Yuzuri also makes a minnow. Now these are a little bit more expensive. You don't have to go this expensive, but Yuzuri makes a good minnow. And this is in a gold, gold keller. And I catch a lot of trout off this. I'm going to go over the top six kellers that I like using for trout that are super effective. Hands down, guys, I use a lot of power bait. These uh, stock trout that I'm usually targeting. Um, they just absolutely love power bait. And I mean, I just got slews and slews of power bait. I mean, I probably got over 200 jars of power bait. Do I like using it? Yeah, I like using power bait. There's so many different kinds and different colors that you can use, but uh, I'll go over the six main ones that I use. First off, number one. Yellow, yellow power bait. I cannot tell you guys how many trout that I have caught off yellow power bait. Salmon peach, number two. Salmon peach almost represents yellow, but uh, the peach with the sparkle in it, just tear the trout out with uh, peach sparkle. Also, flow orange. Also has the sparkles in it. I catch a lot of trout on the Keller Orange for whatever reason. Now, if you guys don't want to buy the power bait with the sparkles in it, you can go to a craft shop and just get some glitter. And you can mix that glitter in with your power bait. Over time, you know, you're saving a dollar or two because the sparkle is about two dollars more in the stores, I noticed. But... You can go to the craft store and you can pick up uh, a whole pack of glitter for two, three bucks and it'll last you years. Uh, corn, corn yellow. Corn yellow is number four on my list. Corn yellow also works great. You catch a lot of trout off of it. And uh, this power bait is easy to fish guys not hard at all number five chartreuse chartreuse as everybody knows is one of them kellers that works very well um, not only do i catch rainbows on this but i also catch a lot of browns yes you can catch browns on power bait especially the chartreuse keller i catch most of my browns off that chartreuse last but not least Lime Twist. This Lime Twist 
it just uh, it's different it's got a little bit of mixture of chartreuse with a darker green in there and uh, sometimes I like to roll this like a mini in my hand instead of rolling it into a ball very effective this is about oh, $3.99 a jar if you don't get the sparkles and most of the time Walmart carries this and a lot of the bait shops and stores that you go to you'll see power bait everywhere if you guys are ever in a pinch for live minis and like using live minis gulp makes the minis in a 2.5 inch uh, these are watermelon pearl and what I do with these is I'll just run a number eight hook and thread these on with a number eight hook I won't have a treble on the back of the tail or anything I'll put the number eight hook on there with uh, two split shots about a foot up and I'll just slowly jig these off the bottom and I catch a lot of brown trout off these minnows they make all sorts of different uh, styles here's a chartreuse shad and they also make a smelt keller that I also use um, gulp also makes power trout worms and I love using these power trout worms there's one in a chartreuse keller they have yellow um, everybody's favorite popular color pink everybody uses pink if you go to the stores and try to find pink these are the ones that sell out first is the pink color uh, they make slews of different colors there's an orange one and I use these wacky style you can either run them through the center run a number 10 hook through the center of that or also you can feed these down through and uh, pop the hook out very effective work very well for me and uh, another thing that also works is these pinch crawlers these uh, pinch crawlers here I always use either the pink or the yellow color which I also have here pinch crawlers now these I like to use a bigger hook than a size 8 I won't use a 10 or a size 8 I'll go the next hook size up above the 8 a little bit bigger the hook because I notice when you're using these when the fish grab it they're grabbing the back end and when you set the hook you're not getting the, the hook in the mouth of the trout so you get a lot of a lot of misses on these so I upgraded and go to a bigger hook now Mike's salmon eggs is another thing that I like to use that's very effective Atlas Mike's makes garlic shrimp eggs in the pink which uh, I use these and then I'll tip a wax worm off the bottom of them and uh, Mike's makes a lot of different colored eggs now here's a UV glow it's like a peach color has a slight orange tint to it and I also use the corn from Atlas Mike's works very well and they uh, make chartreuse also that I use very effective basic most of the time I'll, I'll tip it with uh, a piece of corn on there uh, a wax worm uh, something to give it a little flash for a trailer at the end of the hook and uh, most of the time when I'm fishing these these eggs and the trout are being really picky I'll use a float trout magnet makes these floats and they are very effective at keeping your bait slightly off the bottom and keeping that bait in the strike zone so it gives it a more natural look and uh, I catch a lot of trout this way some basic tools that I use that is a must for me for trout fishing is a good pair of hemostats in case them fish decide uh, to get the hook farther down their throat these are absolutely a must for me if I'm trout fishing. Um, not all the time that you're keeping trout and you don't want to hurt them and you want to practice catch and release for the day. These are very nice to have, especially if you're using power bait. The fish tend to swallow power bait 90% of the time that you're fishing it. Um, another good thing to have is a good 
set of pliers. These uh, pliers that I got are just regular KVV pliers and uh, they really came in handy over the last two years. Uh, I didn't have a good pair of pliers like this but uh, I'm glad I, I got them because after my boy had a hook stuck through his finger and I didn't have nothing to cut it with a guy had a pair of pliers similar to these that uh, I used to cut Bryson's hook off his finger so I could pull it through. Not only did I use them that time, but when we were in New York uh, steelhead fishing, a uh, guy was fishing for steelhead and hooked one to a nice one, and the line came off the fish, and the hook came back and stuck him right through his eye, his eyelid. And uh, he was going to go to the emergency room and called them and said it was going to be like $300 in the emergency room. So I had these on me and was able to get in there close enough to cut that hook off. So these are a real lifesaver and came in handy the last two years and uh, I'm really glad that I got them. Um, another thing that I, is a must for me is a little pair of fingernail clippers. Don't have to be expensive. They make thousands of different kinds of fingernail clippers. You know, they all work. And all I do is got them tied to a carabiner so I can hook them right to my vest. Whenever I need them, I can either unclip them or just snip my line because the line's usually in front of you. These power bait holders, guys, I had these over the last couple years. I've been fishing with these for about three, four years now. And I really like them for holding your extra power bait. But over the years, I noticed your power bait just bloop, pops right out. So uh, basically the last couple years, I've been losing power bait out of them. And uh, I went and bought a couple other ones. Now on my older ones here, I would take and I would sew this down to make my jars tighter in there. Um, if you're gonna fish with these for a year or two, you're gonna have to make these elastic a lot tighter to keep your power bait in there so they don't fall out uh, wax worms guys love using wax worms some wax worms in there is another great bait this is what I tip my salmon eggs with or you can use these uh, straight on on a small size 10 hook put two of them on there and uh, leave them hang off the back of your hook a little bit and uh, also Use a little container to put these guys in. You don't want to carry this big tub around. They're a real pain in the rear. So I always get little little containers or pill bottles and I'll stick these uh, wax worms in there. Easier to store in your vest. They don't get in your way. They're not bulky. Fishing net. Stringers. Uh, people that uh, keep trout to eat. These uh, laundry bags come in handy very very nice for keeping trout alive and you can tie these right to your vest as you're fishing down through the stream and you leave these hanging in the water with your trout in there keeps them alive all day keeps your fish fresh um, a lot of the mornings that we are waking up early it is still dark out uh, a flashlight is a must this is a Bushnell flashlight rechargeable I love the rechargeable flashlights don't have to mess with batteries batteries are always a pain uh, another thing I use is uh, the Bushnell hat light this clips right on to your hat hands-free makes it really nice when you're tying hooks in the morning you know getting your gear and stuff ready a little hat light is a must for me I absolutely love these hat lights and uh, wouldn't go anywhere without them because I use a lot of my hands for everything and uh, they are very bright as you can see there. They also have a green on that side and uh, basically that's all the stuff that I use. The basic stuff that I use every day for trout fishing. One last thing guys before I wrap this up. Um, these gulp crawlers and uh, these power bait trout worms Another thing that I like to do, a little tip, that these, you don't want them to dry up. Um, these gulp crawlers and stuff dry up. Um, they're no good. You can't put them on your hook. So I purchased some power bait trout attractant last year. 
and uh, I tried this last year for the first time and it seemed to really work um, when the fish weren't biting people weren't really catching them I would go to this I would drop a couple drops in there and I have these all in a power bait container with the screw on lid and you just shake them up a little bit um, this attractant uh, really proved itself over the last year for me and it worked very well and uh, I wanted to show you guys this real quick so this uh, trout attractant on your plastics gives it that extra flavor that uh, them trout just can't resist works well for me I hope it works well for you guys well guys that pretty much wraps it up here today um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of the basic uh, bait and tackle that I use for trout season I hope it makes you guys more effective out on the water and helped you guys out. Um, nine away from 100 subscribers and we'll do a, a little special raffle once I reach 100 subscribers. Guys, please like my video and sub subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy this stuff that I'm doing. Until next time, guys, see you on the water.